The Falcons came out in the second half and they played lights out, but unfortunately all they have to show for it is a lump of coal as they head into the Christmas holiday as they fall today 80 to 85 to the Drake Bulldogs. And again, Roland, statistically, the Falcons won just about every statistic. Yeah, they did. Their shooting percentage was a little bit better. Air Force were fantastic in a lot of different positions here in this game. You see there, Air Force shooting 55% from the floor, 57% from three, just being out-rebounded. We talked about the size down low of the Bulldogs and the assists just favoring Drake as well. And a couple more turnovers by the Falcons that led to a lot of fast break points for the Drake Bulldogs. Let's look at some of those highlights from the second half. Caleb Morris was quiet in the first half, but started getting it done defensively and then on the offensive side as well as he had the steal and then led to a three ball from Morris and then he'll hit one more and that gave the Falcons the lead in the second half. But Drake, Noah Thomas, no quit. They always had an answer. When we'd hit a three, Drake would hit a three. And Roman Penn, what more can you say about Penn today? 22 points as he drives baseline for the easy two. Ryan Swan had a great day inside and outside. He really, rolling, kept his team in this game in that second half. But too much Bulldogs down the stretch. Penn hits and gets the plus one, but they weren't done yet. Walker Swan, he knocks it down. 24 points today from Ryan Swan. But when it came down to free throws, it was the pin show as he finishes with 22 points and the Falcons fall 85 to 80. A heartbreaker here at Clune Arena. Yeah, it certainly was. Ryan Swan, you mentioned it, 24 points. He was fantastic today for the United States Air Force Academy, but just not enough to claw back against a very talented and very athletic Drake Bulldogs team. Well, there were some good things that we saw today from the Falcons, but in the end, they've got to clamp down defensively. And it was a good test today. When you're going against Liam Roberts at seven foot tall, you're going to run into some size in the Mountain West Conference and conference play. Yeah, it was a good way to start for Air Force just to get into that Christmas break. But they, they did some good things defensively. They'll need to take that energy and that intensity that they showed on the defensive side of the basketball. They'll need to take that forward into Mountain West Conference play. Well, the Falcons will be home again December 31st, New Year's Eve, as they will host UC Riverside. Tip-off for that one will be broadcast at 2 p.m. right here on the Mountain West Network. For Roland Vargas and all of our Falcon Vision crew, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thanks for watching, and good night, everyone.